For decades, Oumuamua captivated scientists by accelerating as it departed our stellar neighborhood. But the phenomenon emerging today is far more perplexing. The entity known as 3i slash Atlas isn't gaining speed, it's losing it. International telescope networks documented 3i slash Atlas decelerating by approximately 0.3 kilometers per second across merely three days, something established comet mechanics declares cannot occur. If this visitor is genuinely applying resistance, either we've overlooked a fundamental universal principle or we're observing the inaugural proof of extraterrestrial engineering in interplanetary space. What mechanism could trigger an interstellar traveler to perform this way? And what awaits as it approaches our star? Let me describe something that might give you pause. During October 2017, researchers monitoring deep space detected something anomalous eventually designated 1i slash Oumuamua, the inaugural verified interstellar wanderer to traverse our planetary system. Picture a configuration unlike anything in our comet catalogs, cigar-shaped, rotating continuously, bouncing starlight with peculiar intensity. Throughout 11 brief days, observatories fought to record every feasible measurement. But here's the detail that sparked fascination. As Oumuamua retreated from our star, precise measurements showed it was accelerating, marginally, yet sufficiently to contradict gravitational predictions. No gas plumes, no detectable sublimation, nothing explaining the force. The academic community divided. Most researchers favored natural explanations, theorizing everything from transparent ice vaporization to photon momentum gently pushing the body forward. But the calculations never completely aligned. Loeb, a prominent Harvard scientist, proposed further. He indicated the acceleration might represent evidence of a solar cell, a delicate manufactured membrane exploiting radiation to navigate across cosmic voids. The controversy became a battleground for evaluating proof of engineering versus randomness. What qualifies as sufficient evidence? For numerous experts, the absence of clear indicators, no electromagnetic transmissions, no cyclical behavior, no manufactured characteristics, meant prudence dominated. Oumuamua vanished as abruptly as it emerged, abandoning only mysteries behind. The conclusion was unambiguous. Without comprehensive instrumental validation, without irrefutable proof, even the most fascinating irregularities would remain categorized under mysterious, not manufactured. That caution established a threshold for subsequent interstellar arrivals, and it's the framework through which we currently examine the latest cosmic guest. July 1, 2025, the ATLAS program identifies a traveling luminous point cutting through stellar patterns at exceeding 209,000 kilometers hourly, rapid enough to traverse the Pacific under a minute. That detection immediately triggers a cascade. Researchers at CAC, Gemini, and NOY Lab rush for verification. Within moments, the Minor Planet's Authority classifies the trajectory. Eccentricity exceeding six, approaching from distant space. Zero probability it originated within our system. This is 3i slash Atlas, the third validated interstellar arrival, and its course is decidedly unusual. For the inaugural time, the planet's most powerful observatories orbital and terrestrial, are focused on an interstellar entity, not for weeks, but for extended periods. JWST's near-infrared spectrograph, Hubble's imaging camera, Mars orbiter radar systems, and ranging equipment from Goldstone to Arecibo all contribute to a worldwide network. Each device searches for any divergence from classical mechanics, 
any indication this entity might deviate from expectations. Then, during the compressed interval between September 23rd and 26th, something occurs. Doppler measurements from Mars spacecraft show a modest but reliable velocity reduction, approximately 0.3 kilometers per second. JWST's wavelength analysis, activated under emergency protocols, confirms the identical transformation. Surface radar installations functioning autonomously verify the change. The figures aren't scattered. The vector corresponds to the object's heading, not the randomness of instrumental error. Inside the Atlas Coordination Network, the warning originates from a postdoctoral researcher. If it's decelerating in vacuum, something's incorrect, or something's extraordinarily significant. Lead scientists re-examine the measurements, then scrutinize again. The discrepancy persists across systems across hemispheres. Debates erupt regarding disclosure. Some advocate restraint, troubled by Oumuamuma's aftermath. Others insist on prompt publication, but the data is undeniable, radiating from every display, an interstellar wanderer defying comet behavior, decelerating as it nears the sun. The inquiry is no longer if something transpired, it's the mechanism and reason. Every comet, meteoroid, or interstellar drifter crossing the sun's territory follows several unforgiving principles. Solar gravitation is the dominant influence, attracting bodies inward, hastening them as they descend toward our system's core. Envision a comet approaching. Its velocity increases, not decreases, the nearer it travels to the sun. That's the inflexible guarantee of Newtonian physics. But gravity isn't the sole factor. Sunlight itself, though delicate, presses outward. Each particle contacting a comet's exterior imparts a microscopic impulse, a constant outward force that eventually functions like favorable wind. This photon pressure never impedes a comet's approach. It exclusively supplements its velocity, particularly for bodies with bright or minimal mass exteriors. Then there's the spectacle of sublimation. As a comet warms, crystallized gases contained within start vaporizing, streaming outward into emptiness and creating those distinctive tails. These streams function like rockets, perpetually firing sunward, perpetually contributing a minor but quantifiable boost that propels the comet throughout its orbit. The orientation may vary, the intensity may change, but the consequence is invariably identical. Acceleration, not deceleration. No natural mechanism recognized by researchers generates a continuous directed deceleration at interstellar velocities. There exists no cosmic resistance powerful enough to overcome the combined attraction of gravitation, the thrust of photons, and the impulse of sublimation. So when measurements indicate an entity like 3i Atlas decelerating, not merely pausing, but deliberately diminishing its velocity as it approaches the sun, every conventional explanation collapses. The principles of dynamics require an answer. If the resistance is genuine, it cannot be natural. That's the enigma. Physics itself demands we're overlooking a process or witnessing something that transforms the fundamentals. So let's analyze what makes the inverted photon cell concept so intriguing and so challenging. Imagine an entity racing toward the sun, not with its expansive surface intercepting the radiation, but with an exterior polished to a near-perfect reflector positioned precisely. Theoretically, sunlight itself might function as resistance, each particle imparting a tiny impulse in the reverse orientation, removing momentum instead of contributing it. This is the theory behind the so-called reverse light sail. Capture the constant pressure of radiation, but convert it into friction rather than propulsion. But here's where the technical obstacle becomes nearly impossible. For photon resistance to produce a sustained deceleration, especially one as exact as the 0.3 kilometers per second decrease recorded by multiple devices, 3i Atlas would require maintaining an absolute orientation. 
No natural comet weathered by millennia in interstellar emptiness should manage to preserve a fixed attitude beneath the sun's intensity. Rotation or even a minor oscillation would disperse the arriving radiation, converting a calculated resistance into chaotic deviation. Yet, the information from JWST and surface radar indicates an exterior that bounces radiation with remarkable uniformity and a spin characteristic that approaches computational exactness. This introduces a fresh inquiry. What would be necessary to preserve that positioning? On Earth, light sails demand continuous orientation corrections, adjusting and rotating against variable forces. In the emptiness of interplanetary territory, with no internal rockets identified and no apparent sublimation, such precision would require either an interior system or a configuration far beyond what randomness typically creates. The indicator to monitor is evident. If 3i Atlas continues decelerating and if its reflective exterior remains consistent, we're examining a mechanism that functions less like a random shard and more like a vessel following instructions. The subsequent phase is to evaluate this photon cell hypothesis against the likelihood of concealed propulsion and determine which, if either, withstands the proof. Consider the scenario that 3i Atlas isn't depending on radiation whatsoever, but instead employs something invisible, an electric drive, an ionized thruster, even magnetic propulsion have all been validated on spacecraft nearer to home. The difficulty, however, becomes tremendous at interstellar ranges. Any functional motor would require operating for generations, perhaps millennia without interruption, extracting from a power reservoir that never depletes. So let's search for the revealing indicators. If 3i slash Atlas is activating thrusters, charged particles, plasma, even unusual electromagnetic radiation, there should be a remnant, a wavelength signature or a transmission pulse, even if only momentarily. But thus far, every scan by JWST's analyzers and terrestrial transmission arrays has returned negative. No emissions, no thermal patterns, no sublimation streams, the radiation thresholds are stringent. Anything exceeding a few milliwatts per square meter would contrast against the frozen backdrop of emptiness. And yet, nothing appears. Then arrives the energy contradiction. To decelerate an entity the magnitude of a peak by even a portion of a kilometer per second, the power demanded is enormous. Magnitudes beyond any recognized cell, isotope, or photovoltaic panel could supply over interstellar duration. The mathematics don't reconcile unless we're missing an altogether novel category of science or technology. So, we're remaining with a riddle. Is this the cosmos throwing celestial dice and producing a flawless pattern? Or are we observing the consequence of a design, a path established long before our observatories ever detected the initial shimmer? The next milestones are already scheduled. Every proximate passage, every speed change is an examination. If 3i slash Atlas exploits full benefit of these planetary maneuvers, the argument for pure randomness becomes feebler with each movement. Consider its composition initially. When the James Webb Space Telescope recorded wavelengths from 3i slash Atlas, the outcomes were anything but typical. Approximately 95% of identified volatiles were carbon dioxide, a proportion that inverts the expectations on what we anticipate from comets in our own stellar neighborhood, where water prevails. That abundant carbon dioxide suggests at creation in a frigid, more remote environment, or perhaps something less random. Then there's the particles. Instead of ejecting fragments outward at hundreds of meters per second, Atlas discharges its particles at a modest 10 meters per second, scarcely more than a swift walk. The envelope, enormous and radiant, maintains cohesion rather than dispersing randomly. But the genuine astonishment originates from the object's interior cadence. Brightness measurements assembled from JWST and surface observatories disclose a rotation that's not merely consistent, it's mechanical. No chaotic tumbling, no arbitrary procession, 
the luminosity pattern reproduces with computational accuracy, as if controlled by intention. Mass calculations derived from the method particles and vapor travel in its atmosphere indicate a framework far less compact than solid stone, potentially even vacant. Each of these indicators, from the composition to the rotation, accumulates on the measurements of proof, challenging us to reconsider what randomness alone can construct. The next milestone, how these characteristics maintain as Atlas nears its stellar ordeal. Now the timer. Blackout, October 2025, an invisible barrier descends for approximately 10 days. 3i slash Atlas travels behind the sun from Earth's viewpoint, obscured in the brilliance of superior alignment. No observatory on the surface or in space can monitor its movement. Even Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope are compelled to pause, their solar separation restrictions blocking the perspective. This is the darkness, the period when the most significant maneuvers or disintegrations could unfold, completely unmonitored. Then arrives the critical edge, October 29th to 31. Closest approach. Atlas swings nearest to the sun at 1.36 astronomical distances, its velocity and tension maximizing as it circles the inferno. Whatever transpires in those moments, disintegration, endurance, or another speed transformation will be concealed from immediate observation. Researchers scramble to reserve every feasible interval before and following, competing the darkness timer. December 19th provides a break. With Earth's location finally advantageous, the planet's largest observatories align for a renewed speed verification. It's a logistical race, each interval in monitoring a possibility for the narrative to transform without observer. In this competition against science in duration, every lost moment could signify a missing solution. Three possibilities now remain in uncertainty, each bearing its own significance. If 3i slash Atlas disintegrates at closest approach, fractured by stellar heat, abandoning a stream of wreckage, researchers will interpret it as validation of nature's severest examination. Disintegration would indicate a delicate framework, perhaps vacant or filled with vulnerabilities, and the argument for manufactured technology would dissolve into the backdrop. If the entity endures its sun passage intact with no spectacular sublimation, the discussion transforms. A stable transit through the inferno, particularly with no fresh speed increases, would challenge the limits of what we anticipate from natural comments and maintain the technological theory viable. But the most thrilling possibility is the third. Abrupt, intentional maneuver at closest point, a speed modification that contradicts both gravitation and randomness. That would be a characteristic no recognized comet has ever demonstrated. Every device, every attention in the academic community is prepared for these characteristics. The next moments could redraw the boundary between cosmic coincidence and cosmic purpose. Unlike Oumuamua in 2017, which accelerated with no apparent reason, 3i slash Atlas decelerated in methods that established comet science cannot clarify. No sublimation or photon pressure system corresponds the measurements, and gravitation alone would exclusively hasten the entity near the sun. Explanations from photon resistance sails to exact gravitational maneuvers remain unvalidated. Critical examination dates October 29th to 31, closest approach, and December 19th speed verifications will establish if this deceleration continues or indicates an ordinary explanation. The precise system behind 3i slash Atlas deceleration phenomenon is still undetermined. What is undeniable, for the inaugural time, immediate observations have compelled researchers to reassess what qualifies as proof for interstellar engineering. The next measurements may disclose if we are observing a fresh chapter in cosmic revelation or simply the boundaries of our present comprehension.